Before his teens, Mike George knew what he wanted, a P-51. That desire got him a collection and more, as we discovered at the Air Combat Museum in Springfield. Probably the biggest pride and joy is the Mustang behind us. It's built 1944, served in uh, the European theater before being returned to the United States. Uh, we added it to the collection in 1989. It's won uh, seven major awards. Uh, just last year we put a new engine in it and uh, it's uh, in near perfect condition uh, when you uh, we've added a lot, a whole lot of uh, the original military equipment and uh, to give you an example when you pull the trigger on the uh, on the stick the solenoids for the guns uh, actually work. The P-51 is painted after a uh, gentleman named Bob Fritsch. He flew in the 339th um, and he's still alive. I gave him a ride in the airplane about uh, a year ago and he was just thrilled to death. He hadn't flown one in a while. And uh, one of the stories he told us and, and one of the reasons why we're here is he started the war with 75 people in his group. Within a year, 84 had been replaced. So that's kind of one of the reasons we're here is to honor people who had those kind of sacrifices, those kind of odds that they faced. Uh, the average lifespan of a pilot in World War II was three months. And the other airplane that is uh, up there on the list is the B-25. That's uh, the famous uh, Doolittle bomber. And uh, it just got back from a uh, commemoration event in California for the Doolittle raid. Everything here flies or will be flying what we do is we buy an airplane that's been uh, damaged, generally, and we repair it and then fly it and take it to air shows. Several of the airplanes have been damaged in landing accidents. Uh, matter of fact, most of them have been. And what we do is we, uh, once we repair one, we put the damaged propellers, which seem to get the most noticeable damage, on, hanging on the walls. The airplanes that are not uh, military related uh, we have a Piper Arrow that we are rebuilding that was damaged in a landing accident. And when it gets done, it's going to be an incentive airplane for people who volunteer at the museum to be able to learn to fly. We also have uh, quite a few displays of World War II items uh, all the way up to Vietnam because uh, we have veterans at the, at the museum from World War II from Korea and Vietnam. The, one of the airplanes sitting outside, which is an O2, uh, when we, the museum purchased that, uh, we looked at the cards that the military provided with the airplane and it would say things like uh, 30 caliber hole through right wing, patched. We go out in the right wing and there's a patch on the right wing. And shrapnel in the tail, and there's four or five patches in the tail. We also have the uh, uh, a foreign jet, it's a Soko Galib. It was built in 1967 using a Rolls-Royce engine, mostly American parts. This particular airplane was actually used in a movie called Iron Eagle 3. A uh, gentleman bought four of them and had them in the movie and then I purchased it after that. Um, and it's a pretty fast airplane. It'll do, uh, it'll do about 480 miles an hour. Um, not very fuel efficient. Gets about uh, one to two miles per gallon and uh, we painted the shark mouth on it uh, just to mimic uh, the P-40 Warhawks, which is another airplane we'd like to add someday. We do have things for kids, though. If you, one of our, our most popular thing that we have here is a, is a modified drone that, uh, say, kids two or three years old, up to five probably, can get in, and the kids absolutely love it. They think they're in a real airplane. Look above, and that's exactly what it looked like. That, the one above is actually serial number one, made by Northrop, built in 1947. So it, there's, a, there's quite a bit of, of airplanes here from uh, different histories. And uh, our goal is to teach uh, aviation history to as many people as possible. And uh, there's a total of 14 airplanes here to do that with.
Besides visiting the museum, another good time to view Mike's collection is at the Springfield Air Show. To reach the Air Combat Museum in Springfield, call 217-522-2181.